Hey up everybody, I'm on next part of me uh, valve chest or steam chest whichever you want to call it. In the last part then I, I cut these up with axe saw. So I've been and had a I've been and had a lie down and a cup of tea and I'm uh, I'm gonna set to now and get these machined up to shape. So uh, without any further ado then we'll crack on with this. So here's the drawing then for the steam chest or valve chest. Like I said last time, they are handed these. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get these uh, machined to thickness, probably do that in lathe. Then I can get the profile cut out, get all the thing, all these ends turned on, and then get all the holes drilled, the relevant holes, get the hole drilled for the valve spindle and one for the um, for the steam inlet I'm just going to remove this uh, middle portion out of these uh, valve chests or steam chests. Now I've got the profile cut. Uh, I suppose there's numerous ways you could do this. Uh, you could put it back in lathe and just drill two big holes perhaps and then file it to shape or yeah there's, there's numerous methods but I'm just going to change all this and then I'll just finish it off with a milling cutter. Now I've got that centre portion milled out in both the uh, valve chests. I've got to put ten holes in for, for the fixing holes to the cylinders. Uh, the five thirty second holes, but I'm going to be drilling them one eighth to start with. Then I can use the steam chest as a template on my cylinders to mark the holes off. Then once I've got that done, 
I can then open these up to 530 second clearance for 4 BA screws. This is the time then to mark them up offside and near side. I've got to machine this diameter which is offset to the thickness on each side for the valve spindle and then the steam uh, port or steam hole needs drilling in the top and then at an angle to meet the ports. Okay then let's have a look at this uh, next part of this steam chest. Uh, everything's done now except for this joining this steam hole up from this point here. So I've drilled in so far down 5 16 diameter and now I've got to put this in the milling machine and drill down at this angle like that to hit that hole there. I've got the steam chest set up in the vise now on the mill and uh, the angle I've set it to it's not super critical it's uh, 20 degrees if you're coming from this side of the vertical or it's uh, 70 degrees if you're coming the other way and then I've got to spot face this angular face now just to get it horizontal to get my drill started so it doesn't run off. Well that's all the uh, steam chest 
uh, machined up now the only thing I've got to do is once I've got the holes marked off on the cylinders I've got to put clearance drill through all the fixing holes uh, and I think everything's done on that then except for the two holes where the steam pipe comes to to fasten it to fasten the steam pipe to so I think I'll call it a day for this one then and uh, we'll continue with this in next part and get all these holes drilled etc and continue with cylinders to get them finished so uh, if you found that interesting uh, useful etc etc give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you on next part to this then thanks for watching bye for now